first time this season, Governor Ned Lamont has activated the state's severe cold weather protocol. Now, this will help vulnerable people protect themselves from the cold and will remain in effect through noon on Monday. Anybody in need of shelter, by the way, can always dial 211. Okay, staying warm, of course, is very important when the weather gets this cold, but mm -hmm. so is being safe about it. Yeah, space heaters can go from helpful to harmful really quick if they're used improperly. So Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Audrey Russo is joining us live this morning now from the fire department with how you can keep your you and your family safe if you're using one, right, Audrey? Nicole, Roger, that's right. Even the smallest, most compact space heaters still need space to do their job. Fortunately, not enough people give them that room. And even the Consumer Product Safety Commission says space heaters are responsible for more than a thousand house fires across the country every single year. So the Waterbury Fire Department has some hard and fast rules for you to just keep yourself and keep your entire home and your family safe. They say that every space heater should have about three feet worth of radius around it to make sure it doesn't catch any curtains or bedding in the vents. You also don't want to plug a space heater into an extension cord or into a power strip that has other electrical devices plugged into it because space heaters do require a little extra electricity to generate heat and you don't want to cause a surge or pop a fuse or anything like that. You also want to make sure that you are not leaving the space heater unattended or leaving it on overnight. In fact, most manufacturers recommend only running a space heater for about four Four to six hours. Now, when it comes to choosing a space heater, you want to make sure that it has this label on it, either ETL or UL. Basically, what that means is that the product has been tested for safety and it has some overheating protection measures in it, like an internal thermostat and an automatic shutoff. Now, again, this is important just for when you're choosing. You also want to make sure that you are looking for one that can plug into a 120 volt outlet. That's the standard outlet that you can find in most homes. Now, that's all the tips that they have for now. Reporting live in Waterbury, where I'll keep the trend going. It is brick outside. I'm Audrey Russo, and I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.